You're very welcome back to the final part of Tuesday's Daily Rundown and it's time to look at some of the more quirky stories that have been making the news and it's the first time I've heard them too so if the rubbish you can blame producer Jack it's now do with me. <laughs> Story one. <laughs> A man realised he had hedgehogs for housemates when two of the animals began mating extremely loudly in his home. <gasps> Hedgehogs mate loudly. Their lovemaking was so passionate and noisy that the homeowner called police <laughs> to report the mysterious loud panting noise. Oh, after searching the entire building for the source of the sound, officers were surprised when they eventually caught the two hedgehogs in the act. <laughs> Well, well, I guess I'm char charming. I'm just um, hedgehogs are very charming creatures, quite sort. But it's also that that I'm just imagining that whole thing. I mean, you're probably thinking first, like, kind of, oh, is this the neighbours? And this is the thing that you know, <laughs> this, is the, this is the thing that the Brits have real tr trouble with about being. I just like saying, oh, I, c I couldn't possibly say anything. I couldn't possibly knock on. And so I know. I mean, because I remember also I had a friend over in, lived over in in, in Amsterdam, and because the Dutch complete like this is saying, oh, they've got, um, yes, they've been with their passionate lovemaking. I went round and I said, sorry, I can hear you. And I, I was going, we'd never do that in this country. We'd say we'd just suffer in silence or apparently not suffer along with the hedgehogs. Actually, um, when I lived in, in my 20s in Golders Green in London, I used to have my bedroom was the living room. And there was this hedgehog that kept going up and down the street in circles. <laughs> type sound. And they're quite cute. And I gave it a name, Hedge Fund. <laughs> I think that's quite appropriate. We've got one in our garden now in Wally Range and I've called that one Hedge, hedge Fund too. <laughs> Yes, well, maybe that's my yes. Will that make you see less less kind, kind to them? But they've they've been. But apparently they they have been under threat, hedgehogs. So it's good to see them. Well, it's good to see them also perhaps also perhaps making up the numbers a bit. Who knew they had such loud voices yeah, for such yeah. tiny mouths? Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. I knew tortoises were quite uh, loud because I've seen the one trying to mate with a shoe on YouTube making a horrific sound while it's doing it very loud it actually sounds like a, yes. an elderly man dying yeah. kind of youtube that yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do 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 Toy, toys and that. shoe yeah. it's very funny um earlier this year britain collectively laughed when a magnificent vessel was nearly named bought him bought face and disgusted that it wasn't now a pub in wales that has changed its name <laughs> to pubby pub face. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. I'd go there, happily. Yeah, absolutely. I think it was absolute travesty and also one of the kind of the big political cat catastrophes in this year of political catastrophes that also the public's um, voice was not honoured on yeah. Boaty McBoatface. It's like, but it's also like, seriously, um, what did they think was going to happen? It's uh, so, it say, so, okay, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, um, we'll, um, we'll ask the internet what, what, what the boat should be called. What did they really think was going to happen? But also, it's good, yeah, it's good to see that also that also the, the, the tradition is carrying on. Um, yes, I'm, I'm beating a pass to the bar of Pubby McPub face already. Um, can I, I'm out of touch here. What? <laughs> what? I missed that. <laughs> what? There, there, is, like that there was a big... The, yeah, yeah. I missed big, that one, sorry. I must huge, have been on my computer. <laughs> a, a huge research vessel, uh, vessel and it was open to the public to come up with names. One guy wrote, bought him at Bought Face and everybody bought it for that name. Oh, okay, I missed but it. But <laughs> they refused to change to name it Bought him at Bought Face. That's it's, it's going to be called the David Attenborough, isn't it? Yeah, it's like if you'd wanted to name it after uh, uh, some, somebody worthwhile but dull, then, then, you know, just do that. You know. Don't ask the British public to name something and then tell them, no, we're not using that because mm. it's just rude. Yeah. Uh, now, Christmas is coming early this year. At least that's what Selfridges would have us believe. It may only be the 2nd of August, but already the megastore has opened its Christmas section. You better be joking me. Selfridges has opened its Christmas section. Well, that's one month early because I used to be a supermarket manager and we started Christmas in September. And Easter began at Christmas Eve. 
Oh. They start to sneak Easter in at Christmas Eve, like little Easter eggs and mm-hmm. things like that. So, I mean, it, it, all you've got is summer barbecue. Summer barbecue, Easter and Christmas in supermarkets. But I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? I think they should just do it all year round. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 you know, it's, it's it's the the, the old, old thing of going. It's it feels like there always has to be something that we're supposed to be looking forward to. Just we could also just chill and yeah, not like actually just go now. Just, yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be in the moment. Although, oh, but on the other hand, it's like who am who am I to, to kind of disparage anybody's fun as well? It's like if you if you've got if you want to be putting up your your Christmas elves already in September, good luck to you too. Okay. Okay, Have a nice shopping yeah, spree yeah, at exactly. Selfridges. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one more. When a rolling car bumped into an American Walmart, witnesses probably didn't expect to find man's best friend behind the wheel. Two dogs left alone in the car with the engine running managed to shift it into gear and take a little joyride. Oh, what do you think about these rough riders? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, there, there we are. Yes, yes, uh, straight into the doghouse with them. It's like, yeah, sending, <laughs> send out the dog, send out the dog catchers. Oh, bless. Maybe bless. they were headed for the pet section. <laughs> Uh, I should imagine Walmart has one. There's probably yeah. better drivers than some of the people we see on the roads today. <laughs> yeah. Let's squeeze one more in there. Uh, and finally, Mocha, the thirsty Shetland pony, broke into a pub and started drinking from stray pints. The unsaddling incident happened at a pub in Kent run by Mocha's owner. Mocha's owner said he managed to sneak in through the back door. He just drinks water, but I reckon if he got the chance, he would love beer and apple cider. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, exactly. That's that. I think that kind of dovetails in nice, nicely with um, with pubby McPub face, like and uh, horsey McHorse face comes in to drink it. Then yeah, so that's yeah. I, I, I think that sounds like an excellent, also um, the, the, an excellent attraction. I want to see. I want to see Shetland ponies in pubs. Yes, make it so. We've got cat cafes. Mm-hmm. Perhaps they should yeah, start yeah. having pony pubs. Yeah, yeah. With cat, well, cat cafe. Pony pubs. All David, right. would you go to a pony pub? Or <laughs> <laughs> if it talks like Mr. Ed, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, I still remember the theme tune yeah. to that. Yeah, yeah horse is a horse, of course, of course. And no one could talk to a horse, of course. That is, of course. And then <laughs> Hello, Wilbur. Yeah. <laughs> I loved that yeah, show. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was absolutely course. brilliant. Um, guys, anything interesting happening for you over the next uh, few days or until next time you're on well, the show? Uh, no, what I mean, I think, I, th- I think we'll probably make it along to, to the protest picnic for the, for the uh, uh, Smith's Arms round the corner. And well, there we are. We've, we, 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 what day is that? Yeah, well, that's on, that's on Sunday the 7th in the afternoon. And I think we, sh- we should say, put into the council, okay, we have a plan. Re- uh, save it and open it as a Shetland Pony pub and call it a Smithy, Smith's Face Pubby McPub Face. Yeah. There Perfect. we are. The pony winning, pub. Yeah, winning combination. Okay, well, on that note, it's time to wrap up for the night. Thank Thanks to my guests this evening, Loz K, David Semple, and Jonathan, who's doing the fabulous comedy night at the Frog and Bucket. The Daily Rundown is back at the same time tomorrow, but from myself and everyone else, bye for now, and please be excellent to each other. <laughs>